Hello, welcome to Lil's Vintage World. Recently I did a video where I shopped my own shelves for my next five classic reads and I am actually doing really rather well with that. Um, and I really enjoyed the video. Lots of you really enjoyed it too. And it kind of got me thinking because I've done so well with it and I'm really powering through those books that I picked off the shelves why don't I do the same for my next rereads? So I always witter on about the fact that I'm much more of a rereader than a reader. I, I just feel like I am. I just, I always enjoy books like the second or the third, the fourth time round of reading it than I do the first. I get so much more from it because then I can just enjoy the setting or I can enjoy the characters or just the writing style. I can enjoy those little bits much more than I can taking in the plot of what's going to happen. So let's pick five of my next classic rereads. Oh, I'm very excited for this. I haven't done too much rereading recently. I have so far this year only reread the books for Christie Fest. So Agatha Christie, which is pretty standard for me anyway. Um, and I've also reread Giant Days volume one, not on the test edition, which is the first, I think, six issues of my favorite comic book that is no longer going anymore, it's finished, but um, I do always really enjoy rereading them. So they're the only books that I have reread so far this year. And I would like to change that. I'd like to reread a lot more. So let's go to my shelves and pick my next five um, rereads. Okay, so like before, I'm gonna start on my Persephone shelf. You can see there's a few holes and that's because I'm currently reading Persephone. Actually, I think that usually goes there. So there is one that is in my head that I've been wanting to reread for a little while. Um, where is it? There it is, here it is. Okay, so this is Patience by John Coates. I have spoken about this book before and how much that I love it but I haven't reread it ever since. And it's about, oh, I think it's about a woman who has an affair, if I remember rightly, but I loved it. And the ending, whoa, the ending was a shock, absolute shocker, did not see it coming. Ended up having to read the last few pages like three times, because I just didn't believe what happened happened. But yeah, I adored it. And then I'll talk about it more in a video once I've reread it. So that's my first reread. Then moving on to this shelf, which has all my uh, <laughs> bookmarks in. Um, there's quite a few books that I could reread. Ooh, ooh, difficult, right. There is a possibility of a Molly Keen, but it depends on how many I pick. I might come back to it if I have the space, but I definitely want to reread Elizabeth Taylor and I want to reread Angel, if I can get it out. Come on, there we go, got it. So I first came to Elizabeth Taylor with Angel. Um, if you've watched my Elizabeth Taylor Where to Start and Favourites video, you already know this, but I didn't love it the first time round. And this is the only book of hers, the only full length one that doesn't have its own review, I think. So yeah, it needs its own review, doesn't it? So it needs rereading, plus it's beautiful and loads of people love it. So number two, Molly Keane, I may come back for you. I don't, oh, this, can you just see there's just book mountain? Oh, I know, Frost um, and a picture of Pup Pup. Um, <laughs> So Frost, love Frost. I have read the series once. It's a six book series, but I've only only read it once. And that's that's not a thing for me. I like to read it a few times. So I want to reread the series. That does mean I have to start with this one, which is Frost at Christmas <laughs> by R.D. Wingfield. I think this is the from the 80s. So it's quite a modern classic. Hold on. 1984. So quite a modern, but still putting in here anyway, modern classic. Yeah, I've got to reread this series because I do really want to reread the Frost books. Right, you can go on there. Right, 
Next. I'm now over on some different shelves. These are my old shelves, but this is my Barbara Pym uh, section. I love Barbara Pym, as you can see. Um, I also have a beautiful folio society of excellent women, but that lives with its folios. Anyway, I have reread a couple of Barbara Pym's. I have reread some Tame Gazelle and Excellent Women. I've actually reread that three times, two, three times. Um, so, yeah. I'm very much in the mood to reread it, but I don't want to. Reread something else. Let's let's just carry on, shall we? Let's reread Jane and Prudence. Really love this. So good. So, so good. If you haven't read Jane and Prudence, please do. It's one of my favourite Barbara pins. Okay, one, two, three, four. One more. Okay, I'm back to this shelf again. And this is my selection that I have of vintage books. So I have people like... Susan Scarlett, uh, Frances Parker's Keys, Elizabeth Huge, um, Monica Dickens, um, more Monica Dickens. Um, yeah, I've got some really beautiful, beautiful books here. Um, but I want to reread my favourite book of 2021, which is Designs by Joe. I adored this. It's like one of my favourite books. Look at the side of it one of my favourite books ever, right up there with Miss Pettigrew, so yes. And that makes five. But you know what? I don't feel comfortable leaving, leaving it, so bonus. <laughs> Devoted Ladies by Molly Keane. I read this for the first time years ago. Um, I can't remember what, when it was first published. Oh. When you first published, 1934, it's one of her early ones, um, but Molly Keane, you can see I don't have loads, and that's because the others that I've read of Molly Keane, I've read, like, Good Behaviour, I've read, but I didn't enjoy it, so I actually got rid of it, um, and I only keep the ones that I've loved, which so far <laughs> is only Devoted Ladies, but I really enjoyed it, so, yeah, I'm gonna reread that and that's my pile so there we have it those are my next six <laughs> rereads i just i couldn't leave it so i have to run through one more time for you devoted ladies by molly keen only read this the once designs by joe actually all of these i've only read <laughs> read once by elizabeth ann loring or laring Jane and Prudence by Barbara Pym. I love Barbara Pym. Uh, Frost at Christmas by R.D. Wingfield. Angel by Elizabeth Taylor. And Patience by John Coates. Have you read any of these? Have you reread any of these books? <laughs> because I'm going to reread them and hopefully I will love them even more the second time round. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you have enjoyed this video in the comments section below and I shall see you very, very soon for my next video. Take care for now. Bye.